Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video. Another October unboxing for you all today and it is from Medusa's Makeup. Oh, this is a bit different, isn't it? It's in a padded jiffy bag. Now then, I will let you into a little secret. I've already opened it and checked it because it's come like this rather than the normal boxes that we get. I honest to goodness, I wasn't sure what it was. So I've had to open it up to check it is the October box, which it is. So I'm going to let you know about Medusa's makeup. What is it? How much does it cost? If you've not heard of it before, this is a US based monthly makeup subscription service okay so it is a makeup heavy box that we get it costs $16.95 to receive in the US $22.95 to receive in Canada and over here as an international customer we pay $26.95 which works out around about the 23 24 pound ish mark we always get at least for full size items and the total RRP value of the items is usually $35 plus. Now then, obviously if you're paying around about $26, $27 to receive the box, it isn't the greatest markup. However, the reason I subscribed to this was I liked the fact it was makeup only, although they have started adding in the odd skincare item recently you know, sort of since about April time this year, which in all honesty, I'm not overly fussed about. I would much rather that be a makeup product, but hey ho. But also they do cater more for the gothic and alternative, the colors that they tend to send. Last month, um, we got like a black eyeshadow and a red lipstick. You know, we've had dark greys, we've had purples, we've had greens. We've had all sorts of really quite weird and wacky and out there sort of colours. So, what have we got in this month's bag? Because it's not a box this month, it's a bag, isn't it, you know? So, let's dive in, get everything out. There we go. Okay, make sure there's nothing else in there, which there isn't. We always get a little leaflet or a little card with these boxes that tells us the theme of the box, which this month is Hocus Pocus. And it tells us about the items that are inside, the total RRP value, and the individual RRP values of each item. So, let's get into it and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so, first things first, we have a Witch Lash. This is the Medusa's Makeup Mascara basically. Um, I've had a full-size version of this before. I've also had a little mini version. The wand on the mini version is the tiniest little wee wand you have ever seen in your life. Um, the other full-size witch lash that I got, I do believe I ended up gifting away. Um, but this one I think I might keep. I do like the mini one for my bottom lashes because the wand is so tiny. It's absolutely perfect for getting on your bottom lashes. However, let's have a look at this. Let's see if the wand in the full size version, there we go. That's the inside packaging. Let's see if this wand is the same or any bigger. No, that is a much bigger and better wand. It's um, it's a bristle wand. It's not one of the silicony ones, um, but that is a much much better size for a mascara wand. So I will keep this one and I will use it. And I'm hoping that the the bigger the wand, um, the better the product is going to apply. Because I have to say, with that little miniature, the the wand is so tiny. It it's neither use nor ornament, to be perfectly. It just, it just doesn't do anything for my upper lashes. Like I say, great for the bottoms, but not the uppers. This I've got much higher hopes for, so I can't wait to try that out. Item number two. This, oh, it's the Medusa's Makeup Setting Spray. Fantastic. This is a 30ml bottle, and I do know that this will be full size. Um, let's have a look. The RRP of this is $11. By the way, the RRP of the uh, Witch Lash is 
um it says it's a super thickening waterproof mascara um yeah it, it is waterproof it does take a bit to get off to be perfectly honest but there we go back to the makeup setting spray let's have a little spritz of this and see what we think to the smell and the spritzer oh that's a good fine mist yeah a little bit of an alcoholic smell but nothing major um I have got one of their fixing sprays as well, which I do enjoy using, and it is the same size bottle of this. That's how I know that this is full what full size. Uh yeah, so that's really great. I like that. I like that being in there. That is uh fantastic. Bro. Item number two. Item number three. Okay, this is by the company Lovebird, which is the skincare side of Medusa's makeup. So it is owned by Medusa's makeup, don't worry about that. And this is a tinted lip balm. Now then, it's in the shade Kiss. Um, I'm pretty sure we've had this before. It's a me it says it's a medium reddish earthy clay lip balm. Um the RRP of this is $9. Now then, I'm not the biggest fan of tinted lip balms. They they don't tend to work very well on my lips in all honesty. I don't know if that's due to the natural lip colour underneath um, or what have you. They're a nice lip balm, they're nice and moisturising, but me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of tinted ones. So I think this one, because it's all sealed, I'm going to keep it sealed. I might keep it, I might gift it away. I'm not entirely sure at the moment, but that is item number three. Item number four is definitely an item I am going to give away because I just don't use this product. It's false eyelashes. Here we go. I've been subscribed to Medusa's now for a year and this is the first time we've had false eyelashes in, um, in the Medusa's makeup boxes. So I'm not overly upset that they're in there because like I say, once in a year, fair enough. These have an RRP of $7.00. And it, yeah, I'm definitely not going to keep this because it does say deluxe false eyelashes uh, that are synthetic, but it includes a natural rubber latex adhesive. Now then, I have a latex sensitivity, um, so there is no point in me keeping these. Um, it, again, this is another reason why I don't use false eyelashes because I just know that the adhesive, the glue, is either going to contain latex or it's going to there's going to be stuff in there that I'm going to be allergic to. And if you've ever had some sort of allergic reaction on your eyes, guys, particularly with, like, if you've had a, re a reaction to mascaras, the pain, the burning, it just ain't worth it. It really is not worth it. So this item definitely will be gifting away. But like I say, I've received them once in a year. I'm not that upset by them. And then we have a little extra bonus item this month. This is by the company Coco Betty and it's a coconut oil facial wipe. There we go. And it says use me to remove makeup, nourish thirsty skin, clear blemished, blemished skin and soothe sensitive skin. Ooh. Now then, um, we did get a, I think it was raw organic facial wipe um, a couple of months ago in Medusa's makeup. I really enjoyed using that. It was really lovely. Uh, it was amazing how much muck it actually brought off at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, I was very impressed with that. Um, so I'm going to look forward to trialing this one out as well. And this has an RRP of $2. So there we go. So we've got our little facial makeup wipe. We've got our little false eyelashes. We've got the mascara to go with the false eyelashes. We have got the tinted lip balm. There we go. So you've literally got, you know, you could get away with that as a basic makeup set, couldn't you? A tinted lip balm that you could also pop as a little bit of blusher on your cheeks, a little bit on your eyes as well if you wanted to. The mascara, the lashes, there you go quick spits, spritz of the setting spray and you're all done and dusted. So the total box value this month is $41. That's actually a really good value box for Medusa's. Like I say, usually they tend to be around the $35 mark. So I'm actually quite, I'm quite happy with this month's box. The last few months have been quite, they've been more of missed boxes than hits for me, but you know, never mind. That's absolutely fine. Um, 
I'm not quite sure whether or not I am going to be continuing with this subscription. It really hurts my heart to think that I'm going to have to cancel this because I do enjoy getting this. And it is literally the only makeup subscription box that I get that is truly all makeup. We shall wait and see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, um, please let me know your thoughts and feelings to this box down in the comment section below, everybody. What's your favourite item? Do you think it's a good box? Do you currently subscribe to Medusa's? Or, based on this, are you thinking, hmm, might just give that a go? You know? Let me know. All thoughts and feelings and feedback greatly appreciated in that comment section, guys. Thank you for watching everybody. If you are new to my channel, the warmest of welcomes. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you'd like to continue joining me on my YouTube journey. If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, either the red one down below or the circular icon with my face in it, which will appear here shortly. Click that notification bell, make sure it's turned on to all. That way YouTube will tell you every time I upload a video, which is around about two or three times a week. I don't just do makeup or beauty subscription boxes, unboxings, I, I do makeup looks, I do makeup hauls, I have a live stream on a Friday evening called the Friday Night Natter, 8pm GMT or UK time. It's basically a virtual get together, come in, we talk about what Ever we want to, what's happened over the past week. Um, please do bring your favourite beverage, an open and encouraging mind, a willingness to join in, or even, you know, if you're not quite confident enough to join in on the live chat, please just do maybe just quickly say, hi, I'm here, I'm watching, but I'm a bit, I might not, you know, I might not comment too much, and we'll be like, that's fine, absolutely. Um, it really is a lovely, lovely community that we're building on there, so please do join us for that every Friday evening. I think that's everything for today, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, keep safe and well, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!